Hello and welcome to another daily devotion from Hope Lutheran Church. Uh, we were blessed yesterday to have Pastor Micah Wildauer, my friend, um, do the uh, devotion for us, talking about uh, John chapter 21 and the miraculous catch of fish and how Jesus reveals himself in that. We're going to pick it up following that, but some of the details from that are going to come up again as we go through today's reading. And so they we're going to pick it up John breakfast. chapter 21, beginning Jesus at said verse to Simon 15. Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This, he said, to show by what kind of death he was going to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. So Peter had denied Jesus three times. And how many times does Jesus ask the question, Peter, do you love me? Three times. And each time, Peter has the opportunity to affirm his love for Jesus. Jesus is restoring Peter, you see. Peter had fallen, and Jesus is saying, yeah, my plans for you aren't done yet. Yes, I know you failed me, but I still am going to use you. You're still going to be a fisher of men. You still will go and preach the good news to the world. Uh, Peter, you might remember, denied Jesus. Uh, and one of the details when he denies Jesus is that he was gathered around a charcoal fire. And here again, we find Jesus with Peter now gathered around a charcoal fire. Now, why is that detail there? Well, it's, it's not there just because charcoal is the superior way of uh, grilling fish or grilling, period. Uh, but also, it's a, a reminder for us. It's a callback. So we have that detail of the charcoal fire here because it's a callback to when Peter had denied Jesus. And now here Jesus is saying, and you're restored. You're forgiven I will use you. You will be a blessing to the world because you're going to take my good news to the world. Uh, Jesus asks him, Peter, do you love me? And each time Peter says yes, and then Jesus tells him what? Feed my sheep, tend my lambs, feed my sheep, right? He's saying, you love me? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take care of my people. And he does. We have seen Peter fall terribly in the past, right? He confesses, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And then in the next phrase, he's denying Christ and saying, no, 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 you don't need to go and be crucified. And then he says to Jesus on the night he's betrayed, I will die rather than abandon you. And yet here he goes again, denying Jesus. And, and, and it would be easy for us to write somebody off like that. But the Lord doesn't do that. The Lord doesn't say, well, you know, you failed me once. You failed me twice. Uh, I'm not going to risk you failing me a third time. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he forgives Peter again. That 70 times 7 thing comes into play, doesn't it? And now Peter gets to go out into the world with the good news of the forgiveness of Jesus for others, and he's personally 
experienced it. So now he can share that not as one who just is talking about it, but as one who has experienced it, lived it, and received the grace of God. Well, the same is true for us, isn't it? The same is true for us. We have received the grace of God. We have failed him again and again and again, and yet the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and he forgives our sins, restores us, and says, now, follow me. We'll pick it up there again uh, Monday. Uh, Have a great weekend. God's blessings to you. I look forward to worship with you this weekend. Uh, And uh, if there's anything you need, anything we can do for you, let me know. And also look forward to next week. We're going to be doing a Zoom um, conversation with Pastor Wildauer, an opportunity to ask him some questions about mission work in Togo, as well as um, just what things are going on there and and, um, what might be going on in his life. So uh, God's blessings. Have a wonderful weekend. And I look forward to uh, sharing God's word with you again soon.